Hello there, Capricorn. Uh, welcome to your three card reading for March 2019. So we're heading into spring and I can't wait. I don't know about you. Um, we're also heading into, we're in Pisces, uh, but by the end of the month we're heading into Aries, uh, which is sometimes not as high an energy time for you Capricorns. Um, and we have Mercury retrograde all month. It's going to start the 5th and it ends the 26th. And we have the pre and the after shadow of Mercury. So we're all going to be feeling something uh, probably pretty more emotional in March. And I'm going to do a whole radio show and newsletter about Mercury and Pisces if you're curious. So you might want to check that out at river-rain.com and sign up. So let's burn the sage for you. Just imagine the smoke going all around you, as if it's all around you, as it is me. And visualizing that you've got light all around you as well. Surrounding yourself in light, sunshine, a halo, whatever works for you. So let's do your three cards. So your first card is the Nine of Wands. Your next card is Judgment. And your next card is the Lovers. The Nine of Wands is the card where you're sort of protecting and defending something that you've already built. Something you've worked for, something you care about, and you're making sure that nobody takes it from you, nobody destroys the integrity of it, nobody um, challenges you so much on it, you, you've you put yourself out there, uh, you've done the hard work, you've arrived at something you want to be at, and you're saying, you know, this is, this is mine, I'm, I'm defending this. And it's, uh, it's usually on behalf of other people as well as yourself. You're doing it for others as well as yourself. And um, the Judgment card and the Lovers. So two major arcana this month. So there's a probably a pretty big decision on your horizon. And um, the Lovers, it could be about a, a relationship issue, a love issue. And it could also just be any kind of partnership or close friend or colleague. Um, the thing that I'm feeling is that you're building in your own sense of self and your strength and your knowing what you want out of life and um, I get this feeling of not wanting to really compromise as much as you might have feel like you've been compromising and um, the judgment card is usually taking a stand making a bold decision and as I mentioned in uh, another video of Virgo, I go into quite a bit of detail about it, but I'll mention it to you, to you, as the judgment card can be also an internal shift. It doesn't have to mean drama and telling people, this is what I, you know, my way or the highway, this is what I'm doing. Sometimes it's just the, the act of making a decision to step back from something or the act of saying, I'm not compromising on what I want. You don't have to say a word to anybody and they feel it and things start to shift around you. So there's a there's a lot of grounded feeling this month for you. There's a lot of resolve. There's a sense of I'm putting my I'm planting my feet down and I'm putting my foot down on something. The lover's card, I mean it could be about any kind of choices. Uh, if it is relationship related, then you might be giving some sort of choice uh, to your partner or them to you. Um, your decisions or your certainty on what you want and where you stand might put pressure on the partner to, to step up or not. Um, it could also be related to other choices that you're making because the lovers can be just faced with this or that, this or that, this or that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, 
And if that's the case, that it's it's more about you and it's internal questioning, which side am I on or which thing do I want, then it's showing that you're probably going to arrive at a more final type of decision. I don't get a feeling of like, you know, like aggressive, my way or the highway, this is my... No, it's it's more strong than that. It's more rooted than that. It's it's more affirming of yourself than that. It's like this is who I am. This is this is not negotiable. This is this is what I want. This is who I am. That's what I need to be happy. You know, that's the kind of energy that I'm getting. So if you need to reach me for a longer reading, it's river-rain.com. Clairvoyant Medium Catherine Allen on Facebook. You have a good month.